Figure 5 shows a built-up steel universal column consisting of 120 by 12 mm plates riveted to each flange. Calculate the SF load the column can carry by Rankine formula if it is 4.2 m long and having both ends fixed with a factor of safety of 3.5. Given area of the flange, this, this part is 21.67, the IXX is 839.1, uh, IYY is 94.8 and then Rankine's constant is A this uh, it is 1 over 75 our units as you can see they are in centimeters we will change them into millimeters so I have already started here so this is the formula for calculating the crippling load using Rankine formula and like the the one we were using for to calculate the the crippling load using the the Euler's formula it is different with this one. So here it is this this stress here which we have been given. The stress is here 150, and then A it is this one. We have it. The so what we don't have here is the area, the effective length, and the radius of gyration. So starting, I have already started. So we will find the area. I have already found here. I've just taken uh, this area, change it into millimeters, and then add the area of these two parts, this upper part and this lower part only. So doing that, since they are equal, I just calculated the area length times width, then multiply by two, and then I added it to the area that we have been given. Now the effective length will be two, will be L over two, because we are told the 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 our column was was fixed in one end was fixed in both ends so effective length is equals to l over two so that means that uh, we take uh, for, for we take we take forty two hundred divided by two this is millimeters we were given in the in the question that the length was four point two meters so I've changed it into millimeters then divided by two this gives me 2100 that is so that is in millimeters let's now find our k our k which is the k stand for the radius of gyration in this formula this k here so its formula is i over a then find the root of the square root of it so we don't have the I, so we'll calculate the I. So we were given I X X of the section as this one. So we change this into into the into millimeters, and then calculate the I X X for these two parts, and then you add them to find our I X X. So changing that one into millimeters, we will have eight point. Uh, 391 times 10 raised to power 6 raised to power 4 then plus 2 into this cubed over 12 and then plus 144 1440 into 81 squared so this one uh, if you are wondering where did we get 81 81 is the is the centroid so we have just we have just uh, calculated the centroid there so how you will calculate the centroid let me show you from here from here we just find uh, where this one will balance the we will can say it is y1 is equals to this plus this it give us up to here you take 12 plus 150 plus half of this we'll get 168 y2 is the how where this one balance so we we take 12 divided by 2 which is 6 so now y bar 
it will be area 1 this time is this which, which is 1 4 4 100 times y bar 1 which is this then plus again area 2 is this this one times is uh, times this so area 2 it will be 144 again and then times 6 then divided by area 1 plus area 2 which is 28 this one so if we punch that into the calculator we will get it is 87 that is y, y bar y bar is 27 so what we have done here we just take y bar which is our y1 was 168 it was 168 minus y bar which is this we give, get 81 so that one we have used use it here so let me punch this into the calculator all of it you will get it is 19.01 times 10 raised to power 6 my i have just converted it into scientific so let's find uh, iyy iyy it we, we, are, we were given here in the question this one so we'll take this one is iyy for this section and then add it with the iyy for these two sections so ch again we change this into centimeters we'll get changing it into centimeters we'll get uh, nine four times uh, ten raised to power three plus two into 12 times 120 cubed divided by 12 now we will not have this the, we will not have used this one here because uh, x1 x x1 is x1 for this section will, will be 60 and then again the 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 x bar for this section again is it will be 60 so assuming we put this th that these values here will it will be 60 minus 60 squared so it will be zero this whole part will cancel and then you as you can notice we have this one have interchange here we use bd cubed over 12 and then for iyy we use 12 db cubed over 12 so this one is our so let's put this into the calculator we'll get We'll get uh, uh, four point four zero four times ten raised to power six. It is in millimeters raised to power four millimeters raised to power four. So so we will use the we have calculated the i we have two i so we'll use the the list the list moment of inertia which which is this one is to find k so finding k k is equals to the least moment of inertia comparing this one and this one you'll find that 4.404 times 10 raised to power 6 is less than this so that's why we use it here divided by the area we have our area there and then so putting it into the calculator we will get it is 29 29.54 uh, yeah so let uh, now that we have everything we have we have calculated uh, the area we have also calculated the effective length now we have the k we can use this formula now Put everything into the cal into the formula so we have this fc or let me write the formula first fc times area divided by one plus a the constant into effective length all over k squared so this is the formula so f we have it it was 150 times the area which is the area was 50 47 
then let's divide it divided by 1 plus 1 over 75 into effective length 2100 over k 29.54 then we square this so again into the calculator we will get it is it is 40 for it will be 452.28 kilonewtons if you will get this one is it is a newton then you divide it by a thousand to get this one that is our crippling load so to get but the question was asking for the question was asking for to for the safe load and we have been given the factor of safety to be 3.5 so we divide our so safe load is equals to is equals to crippling load divided by factor of safety so we have 452.28 divided by divided by the divided by 3.5 so we get we will get it is we'll get it is 140 141.33 kilonewtons this is our safe lot for this so that is the end of our question.